here I am with the wonderful Singer 201-2. And the blurry video that occurs towards the end of this video in particular when I put it on manual focus, that will be resolved. Uh, that is resolved uh, now. <laughs> so, um, so enjoy the, enjoy the bouquet. The Restorer Apprentice. What do I restore? Watch this video. And I'm just getting set up to start cleaning it off with, with oil. Before I start that, at the hand wheel end, at the, underneath the hand wheel there, uh, I want to remove the, the plug removed from the machine. It's going to be get the, the plug off, pedal off, and then start slowly oiling the, the machine, being very careful on the, the decals. And the decals, as mentioned earlier on, on the other video, are really, really good condition. But I mean, even when you look at the edge of the, the bed there, there are some chips. So I'm really looking forward to getting it cleaned up so that I can start doing some more stuff with it. It'd be nice to get it sewing. That would be nice. And to remove that receptacle, the screw is up there. And let me see, I'm trying to seat the screwdriver in there through the camera. And actually, I, I do have it. We got it. Yep, here it comes. So I'll put that screw there. And I'm gonna get a better look at that. The camera, I'm trying to see how it's, how it's wired. So what I'm going to do now with these things is, I'm going to put this in like a, a sandwich baggie and that's good like that. And now I've got a bigger, like a freezer bag. And then I want to get the messy pedal. That's how I'm keeping track of that. Make sure that I do keep it right. And I got a piece of tape and I'm going to put it right there on the label section and there that's in there oil is always my first cleaning choice now I'm just not rubbing that decal I'm just kind of dabbing at it and I'm going to get in here and I really want to I don't want to drown the thing in oil like I want to be I want to use the oil that I put on here I don't want it all to run down. It is going to eventually run down inside after everything gets oiled. The other thing I want to point out is there's a really old wick here. I'm going to oil that anyway just to uh, loosen it up or I don't know, make it a little more pliable. So we got that and the next place I want to go with the oil is still up top here. So just a little bit of oil and then I'm not really on a decal there, so I'll just give it a little bit of a rub. And it's a, it's, you know, it's really a light layer of oil that I'm putting on here because it is to catch the dust. Check this out. Pretty nice, huh? So what I'm gonna go after now is that beautiful etched faceplate with the cloth and the microfiber cloth and the oil. There. So I haven't pulled it all the way out, and we, I will later, but for now, I'm just going to get some oil in there before I even take that off. So how's that? Well, I think right now, what I'll do is just loosen this just a tad. There. And then I'll take this one off. And now we can take the, the face plate off. I want to get this lever good. Oh, it's nice and loose now because I took all the pressure off on the pressure, uh, pressure screw. So I'll leave the pressure really, really light on here while we're being generous with oil. So it's in good shape like this, this plate, this face plate. What I'm going to do now, run the oil down that spring like that and let it go all the way and I'm going to run it down there. So that's oily. Now I'm going to go on the back here and give that a, an oil wipe. Okay, I'm being really careful here by these little decals that normally get butchered 
And these ones are really good. They're in good shape. But there is some rust or grunge on the serial number there. So I wanted to get in here on the number. I want to get into this black and just do the outside. I'm not going to touch the decals. They're, I'm going to have to, you know, kind of mop them with the cloth. I wanted to get this little corner done and get the serial number done. So that's what it is. It's, you know, really it's a process of continual wiping and that kind of stuff. Um, it is dusty down there. I'm just going to pull this off a little. So I'm still working down on that little corner near the bobbin winder material. And here's this gear here. So there's my little, my little paintbrush. And I had welded it already, but I'm going to give it another little shot. And that's already been done. Now we've got the screw in the washer. So that has a little bit of oil on it. But I want to finish this up here, get it dried. And you know, from the 201s and I mean the other sewing machines, all sewing machines, they all have, they all take the beading along the edge. Even this machine that has really nice decals has the edge, you know, that really took a, a beating. Are you guys having fun? Are you learning anything here? You guys don't need to learn anything. You know it all, don't you? You're just watching this for a review. And um, thank you for being here. I do want to get back to the needle bar and the presser bar real soon. Right there, there's a place to oil. Right there should oil. That should get oil. That should get oil. I'm going to oil that. But anything that I can see that should get oil, plus I'm going to clean in down here. Let me get some oil in here. There, 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 there. Where else? I'm going to put some in there and there. I'm going to loosen these two screws a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this screw a bit. This is where, you know, to put it in the case. And I'm going to put some oil like that and send it home. I like the look already. I'm going to take the needle out, lower the foot, undo that. And there's the grubby little needle. So that frees me up to get in there and do some stuff in there. I'm also going to take the foot off, but for now I'm going to leave the screw on the presser bar. That's nice and oily. It's just we want a little bit of oil going in there, clean those threads off. So I'm not going to strip that down any further right now. And then I'll go back behind where I can't see. I'll, because what I would like to do is take the electricals off. Gosh, it's a pretty sewing machine. So now what I have is a piece of shop paper towel. And I'm just going in there and yeah, I'm getting some, some good conk out of there. I am going to get I do have little brushes and I am going to use them in here, but I kind of wanted to get in here with the shop towel first and see what kind of stuff I could get out of here. Just, I'd like to get the electricals off. Before I do that, I'll get underneath and check out those gears, take the caps off the, the gear, gear boxes. Yeah, it's, it's a, the finish is rough. I mean, it's, it's kind of still not a bad color, but there's scratches and there's the bobbin in there. Cool. Next, I want to re remove these covers and check the gears inside. They got screws, so got to undo the screws. Oh, sure is dusty. Oh, well, it's turning. There's that screw. So I got the one screw already. There's the other screw, right there. That's a better shot for, for all involved. Where is that screw? Right there. Let me see if I can give it the heave hole with this one. I'm actually right handed, so for a job like this, I'm gonna use my right hand. And I'm just plowing the blade through the slot so it's clear. I got a good, should have a good bite on the blade. I mean, with on the slot. There it is, it's turning. 
And there's the one screw already. Geez, don't lose that, Jeb. So there's the two screws. And there's the gunk in. There's the gunk in there. Hey? So there's the two screws and gunk. What else is in there? Is there something else in there? By golly, there is. There's a pin in there. <laughs> like, how wild is that? I'm telling you, cross my heart, God's honest truth. Holy cow, I want to see what's in here, you know? It's too, it's too small for money. <laughs> hey, honey? But that's where the screw is for that one. Let me line you up with the camera. Uh-huh. You know, that's what makes this adventure really an adventure. And, you know, one time I was, uh, I took the bottom off, uh, it was either a 403 or a 503. And uh, there was two little nuts in there. Some squirrel or some little shrew or something had rustled up two little, like, nuts in the shell, like the shells were still on. Crack, but it's turning. Yabba dabba doober. That's the third screw, I'll put it there. So there's two screws, three screws, there's that one. There's the pin that was in there. So now I want this one over here. You know what, that's a little tough. Well, the screw's loose there somewhere in the rigging. And there's the inside of that cap. And there's the gears. They don't look too bad, do they? So I want to continue oiling and greasing the underside, the bottom of the, of the machine, the sewing machine. So the first thing we've got to do is take out the, the bobbin. And, uh, so yeah, let's have some fun. Let's, uh, let's figure some of this stuff out. Let's have fun and learn. You're, you're a Jeb Adams channel. Uh, subscribers are welcome. I like likers, you know. If you could like, that would be of assistance to the channel and Jeb, good old Jeb Adams. And, uh, and if you would like to know, get a little message or whatever, that I, every time I publish, if you hit the notification bell when you're up there doing all that stuff, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so that'll work. And uh, I appreciate the help. So I'll thank you guys in advance. And no pressure. If, if it's not for you, then, you know, whatever, you know. So anyway, here we go. And I did just remove that cover. It's, it's right there. I'm going to start here first. Get some grease on there. And then I'm going to quickly glance over to to here and get some grease on there like that that's it for now and also what I'm going to do is rotate the hand wheel there like that and then I'm going to get some of this that's actually kind of cool that it ended up back there because you know that's what Quite often, it's hard, you know, it's hard to remember, remind myself, but hey, make sure you get the back of the gears as well. So, so yeah, all I'm doing is giving it a rub with the cleaning tool, trying to get the grease in between the gears. Let the underside of that gear get it. And I'll just... Put some oil up there like that. And this oil is gonna, you know, it's gonna run down and drip and leak and you know all that good stuff. And everywhere that I can think of, you know, from past experience and that, playing with machines. The more places I can get it, the better. And uh, it's all going to be wiped off anyway. 
Now I want to get a pool of oil down there. My God, I might have to buy some more oil. And uh, let me move that light. Now the cord is trying to trip me up. And so I'm just going to get some of the oil on the brush and then go along the rods and the rod gear pretty much everything you know the frame the you know wherever this brush will go with oil then that'll be our default if that's what we want I'm knocking off a lot of dust with this oil as well that's another reason this oil will have to be cleaned manually by myself, the restorer. Anyway, I'm going to continue on cleaning this machine. For intents and purposes, once I clean this bottom, and I am going to be back again doing more later with, uh, with brushes, toothbrushes and that. And there is an extra clip at the end. Okay, so that slot is clear. So is that one. Will it take my big bit? Will it take that one? By golly it will. There we go, that one's loose. Oops, that one isn't. And that screwdriver should, you know, it's, I mean, it's got enough torque on it with the size and the length. But it is what it is. You know what? It's come loose. Right on speed. So that one's out. We'll put it right there on the paper towel, shop towel. We know the other one's loose. There's that screw. And here's the... So you can see the fresh grease that I put on there this morning. Just a little while ago. But look at what we missed. I mean, there's still a... A lot of grunge in there. Well, it's good we got that off. You know, just knowing that that, like, and I, and I do, like, I, you know, I mean, we do, we know that, yeah, there's dirt hiding in places we can't sometimes see or think of. And, uh, so, that's really cool. That's off. That gives me more access to, in there. And, uh, you know, what do I have here right handy that I can start with? Um... Well, I do have a toothbrush, so let me try the toothbrush. And I got lots of stuff right here. Now, I don't want anybody to get worried, concerned, or upset when I show you this stainless steel brush. It's a wire brush. And I've used this before on the under-rigging on Actually, it was on my 201-3. Coming right off there like it was melted butter. Right? Look at that. It's coming off there real nice. And what am I doing here? I am assaulting the grime, the dirt. That's what this brush does. Uh, I have good deodorant. But you can see that it's, there's like, it's loose and it's striped and it's maybe better if I just do it this way and then turn it again. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. And then that way I can go all the way down, you know, 
Um, I'm not really concerned with that aesthetics, you know, that there might be those scratch marks on the rigging. I mean, it's steel, you know, it's, it's really tough stuff. There, and we're gonna get it here, you know. Now that we know what works, now that we got the tools to do the job, we're gonna do the job. I, I really am elated by, you know, how good it is, how nice it is to see these parts coming clean. I mean, these are dollar store brushes. No, this is not high-tech stuff or anything. Time to turn. There, I'm getting the back of that uh, one gear there, and then the front face of that one. There, there's a couple of hearts, but wow, it's cleaning off the real grunge there. That was a hard spot in there. And there's still a bit hanging on there. Okay, I think I'll, will I rotate a little more? Maybe for this one here. Maybe I missed the side of the top side of that one. And, and what I'm doing here is I'm catching some of the stuff that's gonna be falling onto the towel underneath when I set this up, right? You know, when it goes top side again. So I've got those other parts to clean still, and I won't be doing that in this video. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't think I will. And uh, so I'm gonna get, uh, you know, continue along here. Uh, it would be nice to, well, you know what, everything would be nice. But uh, there it is. We've got the bottom cleaned up, started. We've got the top cleaned up, started. Oh, we're out of focus. Don't you love the bouquet? I was probably out of focus for all of that, wasn't I? Well, all I was really doing was just uh, toweling it off with a, uh, a shop towel. And I was showing everybody, showing the camera the dirt that came off with, uh, like that. Huh? There's dirt there. There's lots of dirt here still. Oh, geez, I'll be cleaning this thing forever. Well, and, and you know, good thing too. So, so I'll leave it there. I wanted you, I wanted to get that cover off and uh, take a look at it, at the gears, the mesh gears here. And see, they're already, they're all, these gears are already clean and, you know, all the, Goop that I had thrown on there, all that grease, it's all gone now. You know, whoopsie daisy. Oh, yeah. Okay, shut it down, Jeb. Jeez whiz. You're driving everybody crazy. And there is an extra clip at the end. This is the recycling area. And as we can see, it's all nicely cleaned out. And the, uh, the bins there, they're already in waiting. I'm on my way to the lockers. So I have two lockers here in the 
locker storage area of the of the apartment complex that's the one and then the other one i have is right over here so i'm ready to wheel everything out to the car so there you see my car as you can tell right there that's my cart little cart there and then once i get the sewing machine in the car then i'm gonna position the case on the top of the car above the sewing machine so that's what i'm gonna do now there it is there's the baby and it's about to come out and there it is and uh that's a singer 201-2 and it is rare and i'll show you why it's rare let's move in a little closer and then i'll reposition it and as you can see there's no belt here there's no fan belt this is a gear driven meshed steel gear motor there's no fan belt the Singer 201-3 that I have has an exterior motor with a fan belt. So we're all loaded up here with the case on top of the cart and the sewing machine is stored inside the cart underneath the case. And I am going to replace this cart somewhat sooner than later with a pneumatic tire or inflated tire. There you have it. It's home in the workshop. It'll be coming at you soon.